I'll check it out. Church 2, over here in the book of Revelations, I'm in chapter 2, verse 8, says, And unto the angel of the church of Samaria, write these things, saith the first and the last, which was dead and now is alive. I know thy works and tribulations and poverty, but you are rich. And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. Now, we read that yesterday, but I read that to read this. Check this out. If you jump over to the next page and you pick it up, where are we at here? Verse 12, it says, And to the angel of the church of Paragamos write these things, saith he which hath the sharp sword with two edges. I know thy works, and where thou dwellest. Even there Satan's seat is, and thou hold fast my name, and hast not denied my faith, even in those days where Antipas was my faithful martyr who was slain among you where Satan dwelleth. But I have a few things against you, because you have there them that hold the doctrine of Balaam, who taught Balak to cast a stumbling block before the children of Israel, to eat things sacrificed unto idols, and to commit fornication. So has you also them that hold the doctrine of the Nicolaitans, which thing I hate, repent, or else I will come unto you quickly, and will fight against them with the sword of my mouth. He that has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. To him that overcometh will I give to eat of the hidden manna, and will give him a white stone, and in the stone a new name, written, which no man knoweth, saving he that receives it. You hear what he's saying to these churches in the book of Revelation? He says, I know your works. I know where you dwell. I know the thought and intent of your heart. And what's he asking all these churches to do? To repent. To repent. We have to repent, folks. We've got to repent of those sins that we may not even know we're, we're filthy before the Lord. But guess what? If you read this book, I promise you we are all filthy, grimy, dirty before our God. And we need to repent and hit our knees every morning. Put this armor on every day. That's right. Suit up, soldier. Suit up. I'm just going to give a shout out to my daughter, Lindsay, today. She's doing a good deed for a widow man, my brother. I praise God for you, daughter. Thank you. I thank God for my brother, too. I hope all is well. We're keeping everybody in prayer. Repent. That's what he's saying. That's what he's saying. It's the last book in this library of life. Repent. Repent. He said, I see your works. I see your dwelling, I see your ways, I see the thoughts and the intents of your heart, I see you inside and out. I and mean, we're talking about the God of all parallels right here. He can see in every parallel there is. He has x-ray vision, he has colored vision, he has black and white vision, he's got all the vision, heat seeking vision, cold seeking vision, he's got all the parallels. He can see through them all. He can see right through your little old body into the intent of your heart as well. So I'd say the Bible says Every man's heart is wicked. We should wake up with a repentful heart each day and get in this word and let the Lord sanctify us through his word, not the world. He says, lean not into your own understanding. Right? He says, be not conformed to the ways of this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. Right? That's what he said. He said, he'd never leave us, he'd never forsake us. I mean, he said a, a lot to us. You know what I mean? I think it pays heed for us to get in here and to read this word. He says, I know your works and charity and service and faith and thy patience and thy works and the last to be more than the first. Notwithstanding, I have a few things against thee. 
See, because this is another church. He says, because thou sufferest that woman Jezebel, which calls herself a prophetess, to teach and seduce my servants to commit fornication and to eat things sacrificed to idols. So you got to watch these women with these Jezebel spirits. I don't care how pretty they are. You got to put them in their place and say, hey, whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I don't care how pretty you are. I don't care who you think you are. You got a spirit on you that ain't cool. It's called the Jezebel spirit. That's what it says right there. Yeah, they suffered that woman, which was called Jezebel, which called herself a prophetess. So if you know any prophetess out there that's dressing up in her makeup and her hair's all braided and she's wearing all that jewelry and all those dresses and attractive clothes, that's a Jezebel spirit on that woman. Didn't Jesus say in the last times many will come in my name saying I am the Christ but will deceive many? Oh my goodness, man. There's a bunch of them out there. And you're only going to know them if you test them by the word of the Lord. So you all have a good day. Get in your Bibles and read. Get the testing and do what the Lord said to do and repent. Repent, repent, repent of your sin and get ready. Jesus is here. Jesus is here. He's coming back. He's just waiting for the Father to give him the green light. And then all hell's going to break loose. And remember, saints, he's cutting it short. So it's in a time when you think he's not coming. He's going to show up. Y'all have a good day and read your Bibles. I love you.